Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you a brief explanation on COVID-19 self-test kits that are available in Malaysia and how do you perform it yourself at home. There are up to three COVID-19 self-test kits have been received approval from Ministry of Health via Medical Device Authority, MBA, and it is available in the market since 23rd July 2021. You can get it from pharmacies and healthcare facilities. You can visit mda.gov.my for more information. So, there are three COVID-19 self-test kits available. Number one is the Selexim COVID-19 Antigen Self-Test Kit. It is produced by Rexon Diagnostic International Sembrian Berhad. It uses saliva and nasal swab samples. And number two, is the G-made COVID-19 antigen saliva for home use. And number three is Berite COVID-19 antigen self-test device. The number two and number three, G-made and Berite uses saliva sample alone. So in this video, I'm going to use Selexium COVID-19 antigen rapid test. It has a sensitivity of more than 91% and specificity of 100%. And you get your result in 15 minutes. First, make sure you rinse your mouth thoroughly before you conduct the test. Number two, do not chew, eat, drink, or smoke at least for 30 minutes. And number three, wash your hands clean. So let's check on the package, including the expiry date. So it is here. Okay. Let's unpack the package. There are five components in the package. The test device, it is individually in a foil pouch with the second. Extraction buffer tube with nozzle cap. Disposable swabs, there are two swabs here. Instruction for use. And a waste bag. First, place the extraction tube on the tube holder on the packaging box. Then, peel off the aluminium seal. Be careful not to spill the liquid. Remove the sterile swab from its package. Be careful not to touch on the cotton tip. Swap the cotton tip inside of your right cheek up and down for 5 times. Then repeat the same steps on the left side. Make sure the swab don't get in contact with your teeth, tongue, and gums. Then using the same swab, swab on your palate for 5 times as well. Then place the swab into the extraction tube. Next, remove the other disposable swab and insert the cotton tip into one of your nose drill about 2cm depth or until you feel slight resistance or tingling sensation. Move the swab in your nose drill in circular motion for 5 complete circles. Repeat the same step for the other nose drill using the same swab. Insert the swab into the extraction buffer tube as well. Swirl the swab rigorously for at least 10 times to mix the mucus and saliva well. The swab must be sufficiently soaked. Remove the swab while squeezing the sides of the tube to extract the liquid from the swab as much as possible. Then, discard the swab into the waste bag and seal it carefully. 
Assemble the nozzle cap tightly with a tube. Then, tear open the test device from the foil pouch and place it on the smooth and clean surface. Apply two drops of the sample solution to the specimen well of the test device and make sure there are no air bubbles. And do read your result within 15 minutes. Not after, not before. To avoid any false results. If your result is negative, a coloured band will appear on top section of your result window. This is the control line. If the result is positive, a coloured band will appear on the lower section of the result window. So, you will see a double line on the test device. Even if the band is faint or not uniform, the test result is still interpreted as positive result. The test result is considered as invalid if there is no band appears or there's only band appear on the lower section of the test window. And you may want to repeat your test. Whatever is your result, make sure you do report it on your MySuggestra app. Place all the test kit device in the waste bag and seal it tightly before disposing it. So, this is the end of the video. I hope this video has benefited all. Do drop your comments and share your experience.